Two years ago, President Joe Biden officially commemorated Indigenous Peoples Day to help give Native Americans a stronger voice in federal affairs. It also shifted the focus from explorer Christopher Columbus, who colonized parts of America, to the people who were tragically affected by colonization. And that day is today. And to celebrate and honor the deep history of indigenous people in our state, we're taking a look back at the oldest artistic designs known to man that have ancient beginnings and modern day influence. You can find petroglyphs carved on boulders all throughout the gem state. And we're gonna take you back in time, 29 years, to learn about this Native American's art in today's Exploring Idaho Redial. Here's these art. <laughs> The beginnings of art lie in the canyons and on the plains of Idaho. Thousands of years ago, the people who lived here etched their traditions and their visions into rock. They're called petroglyphs, and amazingly, they've endured thousands of years of wind, sun, and rain. Celebration Park sits at River's Edge on the north side of the Snake. It's one of the many sites in Idaho where you can find petroglyphs. Between 12 and 15,000 years ago, the Great Bonneville Flood carried huge boulders to the area like they were pebbles. When the flood retreated, water-worn rocks stayed behind. Early humans etched these smooth surfaces with elaborate symbols. They just take a, a little hammer stone and they just get here and go peck, 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 and you can see the individual pecks often. John Curtis is a retired scientist. He has studied petroglyphs for 15 years. One of the characteristics here is the, the arrays of dots, which are all over in the Snake River Valley. Curtis thinks early Paiute Indians made these images, but he'll rarely guess what they mean. I don't think anybody can interpret petroglyphs who was not really living here at the time they were made. Even if we don't know the exact meaning, you can recognize the figures. There's a sun symbol on that one. That's a mountain sheep symbol. See, this is a lizard rock. There's one, two, three, four, and maybe five lizards on this rock. Circles with dots in the middle. Remember I told you we'll see that a lot? They are pictures children can relate to. And here today to see the petroglyphs is a Meridian elementary class. They just look like a dragonfly. They've never studied anything like this before. But they're quickly learning. <laughs> Pendulous? Petroglyphs. Petroglyphs. <laughs> There's a lot to learn, even for the casual observer. More than a dozen rocks in Celebration Park are covered with designs. One of the more unusual, this water-carved boulder called Bishop's Chair. Go down and sit in it. Curtis thinks this was a sacred site. Native tribes may have used this chair in some religious ceremony, or maybe they just liked the view. Man is a curious being. Man likes to solve mysteries. And when you find these inscriptions on the rocks that uh, you don't know what they mean, it's, it's just fun to try to figure it out. There are hundreds of sites to see the petroglyphs and rock paintings throughout the state of Idaho, and that includes Celebration Park, which we just showed you. And you and your family can go visit Celebration Park year-round for day use and camping, and this is just one of the many ways that Native Americans have shaped our state and country in gorgeous ways.